Hello, Forecaster here again, and we are back for episode 200 of Enter the Gungeon. And we are on the second floor. We are the Gunslinger. I'm played through uh, another glitch run all the way to the Lich. And um, we have a master round. We have two pieces of junk. We have the EU gun. And that's pretty much it. We're going to see what we get here. Um, I think the hero's bandana is the best choice right here. Uh, we're going to get a lot more ammo for the AU gun once we find an ammo crate, at least. Which will hopefully be before the boss, ideally. I'll even buy one from the shop if I have to. Oh, well, that gets us part of the way, which is better, but not as good as a full refill, of course. So, yes, the, to remember to set the correct profile, reloading controls in the right places, otherwise I'll just get thrown off. So, uh, during the last run, I got the bloodied scarf for the first time since the update, I believe. And I noticed that they had changed how it worked slightly, uh, or more specifically, they changed how you control it. Um, I think previously the, uh, the camera didn't change when you teleported. You right clicked and it would just keep doing this. Now, however, for some reason, they've decided to make it so that when you hold right click to teleport, the camera shifts to folk to center on the cursor, which probably extends your range. You could teleport further, but the problem with it is that when you activate it, the camera jerks over to where the cursor is and it's very disorienting. I don't know if they did that to maybe just an attempt to balance it or something, which if in that case was entirely unnecessary because it's a very hard item to use. Uh, even before they did that, but it makes it it makes it a lot harder to use, more so than it already was, because you now have to reorient yourself based on the new camera movement. Um, and I don't like it. I liked the way it was before uh, when it didn't do that. And even then I'd barely gotten used to how it worked. So I had gotten slightly better at using it, I think. I'd like to think that at least. But now it's terrible again, which is great. I don't really know why they did that at all. Because you don't really need all that much range because most rooms don't tend to be that large. Ow. Dang it. Stupid. Keep those bouncy bullets. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I 
don't really expect to beat the advanced lich this time, really. Because uh, it's really hard. It'll mostly depend on what items we get. Uh, AU gun is good. But not good enough for that, I don't think. Uh, Hero's bandana... Dang it. Hero's bandana is... Great. Give you a lot of ammo. I had that during the last the Paradox run. Uh, which I keep wanting to call the glitch. Uh, although, interestingly... Uh, What's his name? The shooting gallery NPC um, Winchester calls you the glitch or calls you glitch uh, when you come into his room sometimes. It's one of the names he has for you, so I might not be entirely incorrect. Uh, when I want to refer to the paradox as the glitch. Uh, although that's not his actual name, of course. But it could work as a nickname. Don't want you to be doing that. Well, there's our full refill, so we should have enough ammo to finish off the boss for sure with 88 shots. Once we find where the boss is, that's right there. I do want to explore the rest of the room or the rest of the floor, just in case I get something interesting. Armor. I could do with some armor. The lost armor I had, unfortunately. It's very unfortunate. I think that's it. So we'll pop back here. And we are going to shoot a snake. That was close. Glad I had my profile set up selected then or I would not have been able to do that there's another master round for us an ammo refill uh, some health that we don't need fortunately no armor though which is unfortunate oh there was something popping up there I don't know what that was might have been the master round uh, you have a piece of armor to buy for sale here, we'll buy that. And then we'll pop down to the next floor and we'll see what we get. Now, hoping for something very specific um, sometime during this run before we get to uh, the end. Old Goldie will do for now. Um, and yeah, it now has. It'll now behave as if it has all the synergies. Uh, because that's what the eye bullets, the Lich's eye bullets do.
Old Goldie is a very good boss weapon, which is why I'm using the AU gun to pick off enemies. Because bosses tend to be easy to hit with a shotgun. Regular enemies usually are not as easy to hit because they are smaller. That's my reason. Very much overkill for most of these enemies, but whatever. As long as I don't damage. I'm fine with it. Probably get more ammo. Anyway. That was a close one. Not a huge fan of that. Stupid bubbles. There's an ammo refill for sale if I need it. We're doing quite fine now, however. I uh, could go in there and get a and waste a key, basically. But I don't think I'll bother. down that way that I missed. Ooh. That's close one. I'll die from the poison. Well, that was not particularly worth it, but I won't. Ow. I stood in the laser beam. How marvelous. Pop chests or junk. Possibility getting Sir Junkin. Although it's very minuscule. There is a small chance you can get Sir Chunkin, but... Alright, let's fight a tank with a shotgun. You can see, Old Goldie is rather effective. Despite its relatively short range, I think it was faster than the EU gun would have been because it does a lot of damage. So that went quite well. Uh, we do have the ammo refill. Which we don't really need, but. Uh, it is here, might as well get it, why not? Kind of wish I could save it, but I uh, will. Let's see what we get in this one. Ah, there it is. This is Gunder Fury, level 60. I don't know if I, this might be the max level because it hasn't changed in a while. Um, 
this is why I picked the hero's bandana as well. We have 2,400 shots. Now, this level is incredible. It's very powerful. You'll notice that it uses two shots or two bullets per shot because it fires two bullets. Um, it is rapid fire, fully automatic, does a lot of damage. This will finish off a boss, the early bosses in seconds. Uh, this is great. This is exactly what I wanted and this might be exactly what we need to beat the Lich, the advanced Lich. Now, I'm going to look up what synergies we have with Gunder Fury because I'm curious. Uh, chance on hit. The player also has silver bullets. The gun will obtain a chance to slow enemies and make Gunder Fury bullets act like they have shock rounds. And then Worlds of Guncraft. If the player also has Mr. Accretion Jr., Gunder Fury will occasionally shoot out Mr. Accretion Jr. shots. And that's what we just saw. And yeah, level 60 is the max level. Uh, and yes, we are going to use this as our primary weapon now. Does slow enemies, which is lovely. Uh, so yeah, we are set pretty much. This will finish off most anything in quite few shots. Uh, and normally ammo would be a concern because it would burn through it rather quickly. But with the... Um, Hero's Bandana, that is not... Not a major concern. All we have to do is avoid taking damage to the greatest extent possible. Oh, I need to fail that, of course, but I wasn't watching where I was going, I was watching where I was shooting, which is an unfortunate mistake. Ah, uh, well. We'll regain that health. I'm not too concerned. Two chest rooms chained together there. We'll seek out the other one. Ow. Stuff. Going to touch that. Well, didn't really need that, but hey. This is very much overkill, of course. Just need to focus a little more on avoiding damage now. I think it not just assume shots will miss me because I have this, because they will not, unfortunately. That's not what it does. Ah, we would have got something there.
pretty much the notes would say what it was you took, or you would have gotten. I don't think I've ever gotten Sir Junkin this way except the first time you unlock him. If I recall correctly, that is how you unlock him. You picking up from destroying a chest. And that's that. And fighting an actual boss is quite similar to that. Gets us some stuff. There's the wallmonger, of course, as usual. Uh, we'll, we'll, we will do fairly short work of that thing. Uh, could buy health, but I'm not going to bother. We'll most likely do this quickly. two blanks but that is fine I want the master round for sure save the armor as well picked up some more armor and got some health back which is great I'll buy this half heart just to top off my health that probably would have gotten should be a secret room oh This floor has no secret room. That doesn't happen very often. I don't think. Okay, let's see what we get here. We are mostly set, but, uh, oh. Um, potion of lead skin. Uh, some protection is always nice. There's that health that I bought. Didn't really need to, like I suspected, but. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so that could be useful during the Lich fight. certain ways it's convenient that uh, corpses take, that you can hit corpses. Um, like when you're using the um, the what's it called? Hyper light blaster. Because if you keep shooting at a body, the counts as hitting an enemy, but when you're trying to hit another enemy and hit a corpse instead, that's less convenient. Well, um... They're not very smart. Uh... 
not going to avoid going up there through that stupid hammer room because I hate them. Um, until I've explored elsewhere first, just in case. That's not where I need to go to find the boss. Ooh, that was close. You can go away. Plenty of ammo, of course, which is great. Just mowing through the rooms like this is a great feeling. Just poison that block of sapient iron or whatever it is. Okay, we found a chest room. Still no Sir Junkin. Unfortunate. I wonder what this synergy with uh, Mr. Creation Jr. is... That's a reference to something. Uh, okay, well, we found the boss room. We didn't have to go through the hammer room, which is great. Uh, we are going to... Take on the boss immediately, because why not? Hopefully get their master round for this. It would be ideal. I'll save the uh, lead poison or potion, whatever it's called, when I have something tricky to dodge. Don't think I'll need it though. go. Didn't need to use it. Could use it to get through part of this, I suppose. Don't really think I'll need that either. Might as well, I suppose. And there we go. That's the dragon. Gun. And that is the power of Gunder Fury. This is probably one of the most powerful weapons in the game, I would claim. That's all of the master rounds. It's not something I see very often when I'm playing at least. Uh could probably want to find the gunsmith. See if she has anything worthwhile to buy. Maybe an ammo refill, we have... We only have... Less than... We have less than 50% ammo now. Just about. Uh, but I think we're doing fairly well. Well, that's... I mean, it's another chance to get... Sir Junkin, I suppose. Which we did not, but if we get Sir Junkin now, he's going to be max level. For sure.
There's the gunsmith. Um, we are going to need the bullet as well. I realized just now. Gonna buy armor. There's old red, I believe. Is his name? Oh wait, no. No, those those are the bullet. The blue bullet is old red. What was the lock guy's name? Flint. It was Flint. All right. Um, not going to bullet hell. We are going back in time. I think to the past. Uh, we are at the thirty-minute mark, but I don't think this. Whether I win or lose, live or die. I don't think this will last much longer, so we'll keep going. Probably be less than 40 minutes. Do I have to go through bullet hell or do I get put right at the boss? I have to go through bullet hell. Uh, we'll take owl. additional chance of damage avoidance unless I'm being unless I'm stupid which is always a possibility we'll of course try to find the boss as quickly as possible Now I want to be on fire. Free blank. I, I'll take it, I guess. Oh. Almost got saw bladed. Gunder Fury and the Lead po Potion have a very good chance of actually killing the Advanced Lich. Uh, of course, with the po Potion, I'll be able to avoid damage. And... Gunder Fury, I can deal a lot of damage as we found. Well, I feel robbed. things. Those shotgun things with the quickly bullets hit them so much. We are running a little bit low on ammo. Maybe I'll want to conserve ammo with the, the, the Gunder Fury. Uh, six 
600. I don't know if that'll do it. fire thing. Well, that was a dumb room. Old Goldie is pretty good as well, but not as good as Gunder Fury. And I hate those. There we go. Well, that's part way back to a full. Not really all the way though, which I prefer, but it should be enough. You hate you so much. Those guys, not nearly as much hate for those. That was a dead end. This didn't take damage that time. I think damage in a dead end is pretty terrible. Owl work there. Hmm. Hey, you gun doesn't do all that much damage towards. Jammed enemies. Bathroom <laughs> should be over here somewhere, hopefully. get another one. I got some health back. It's always nice. All right, here we are. Uh, time for the big moment. Uh, previously, the last attempt, I did not get past the first stage, but we are going to change that now.
least want to kill one of them. Dang it. Well. There we go. That's dramatic. Oh. Is that it? Okay. I kind of expected the other two stages. Well, all right, so we should now, returning to the breach, have the ability to play as the gunslinger whenever we wish. There he is, out on the platform. He has no past, apparently. Uh, so that, that is that. Um, and with that, Really, the only challenge that remains is uh, completing the uh, Ammonomicon. And there are quite a few things that are missing. Uh, I've had a couple of things in runs I've played between episodes, like the JK47. Noodle shaped like a gun, frightens enemies. Yeah, uh, it's like a slow firing AK, pretty much that scares away enemies. It wasn't all that interesting. There are some things that I have revealed the name of, but I haven't seen them. I haven't found them yet. Um, there are quite a few things like that, like the teapot and uh, something like, well, there are probably more things. Uh, huh. I don't actually, I don't remember having this. Uh, I do remember having the glass cannon, uh, which of course is a powerful cannon, but if you get hit with it, you lose all the ammo, similar to the balloon gun. Um, so, and um, I read this. Uh, what will happen is when you complete the Ammonomicon, that is when you uh, fill out all of the blank spots and all the... Um, half revealed things when you've had everything once and you've fought all the enemies once fought all the bosses what will happen is the unfinished gun will be replaced by the finished gun which would be the goal uh, we also i realize have we have these which i have not encountered yet um there, is, there are two secret floors that I have yet to complete. We have the um, the rats floor, uh, which I have yet to make it through the labyrinth because I need one of these for that, for whatever reason. And I have not yet been able to make it to the labyrinth after getting one of these. I should be able to do that now, but I haven't seen one of these in quite a while. Um, and then we also have the new secret floor that was added in the Farewell to Arms update, which I have not seen yet. And I don't know how to access that. I haven't really seen any hints towards that, so I might have to read up on how to do that. Or just stumble upon it by accident. I don't know. Oh! Oh, look at that. We got the final trophy. 
I guess. Now I have five of them. Did not realize that was a thing. Um, I was wondering what that sconce was for because there weren't going to be any more updates. So there weren't going to be any more challenges. But I'm glad I went in there and checked that out. Uh, now this episode has been running long, so... Gunslinger also doesn't have an alternate costume, I notice, which is a little unfortunate, but hey. Uh, so this episode has been running very long, so I'm going to end it here. We'll come back in a future one, perhaps, when I discover something interesting, like one of the secret floors. Uh, I'll have to play some runs and see if I can find one of those notes and get into the get to the labyrinth. And all that will fight the rat boss. And with that, I will see you in the next video.